Hello everyone, welcome back to Jam Farming Cattle. As you can see, we got a do-it-yourself project this week. Uh, we are going to build a calf shed and it's just going to be plain simple for calves only. Uh, it's for the newborns to go into, stay out of the weather. You can buy calf sheds made out of uh, metal framing which will last probably a lifetime. Uh, we're going to do ours out of wood because we're going to do it on a budget cut and I know a lot of people out there probably have a budget cut that they want to spend or they don't want to spend twenty five hundred dollars on a calf shed uh, you know at that point in time so this is a simple do-it-yourself we purchased everything through Menards uh, you can get everything through your local hardware store so I'm gonna show you what we got and what we're gonna build we got all of our uh, two by fours our two by sixes and our treated ones Oh, by the way, this is the new pup. She's a purebred blue healer. Uh, a friend of ours really needed her gone, so we took him off their hand. Uh, he had a bunch of puppies, and this is the last one they couldn't get rid of, so we took her and, well, she's in the process of a puppy. Well, they both are. Anyways. So we got our different lengths here. This calf shed is going to be eight foot wide, 14 foot long, and it's gonna roughly have four foot sides with a peak. So we got our 10, we have six pieces, and these are 36 inches. So we have six of them, they're 14 foot long. Uh, the two by sixes are going to go along the edge for support where cows might rub. Uh, the treated ones are going to go on the ground, which right now the ground's frozen, so we're just going to deal with it. Uh, come spring, when we can actually dig a hole, we're going to we're going to raise it off the ground just to keep it out of the wetness. We got our sideboards and we got our peaks. So we got to go through, and we're going to cut all of our peaks. Uh, right now, we're just kind of playing with peak angle. So uh, if I was to draw it, looking at it front wise, that's what it's gonna look like. That's four foot. Uh, this will be height wise, will be roughly five foot tall to the peak. And then eight foot wide. And then the board that we're going to put will probably be three foot. So then it's going to be lengthwise. So this is the four foot. This is going to be 16 or 14 foot. And then the ribs of the tin are going to run this way, even on the roof. Uh, we're doing that for more support. It's going to be a lot stronger than running it this way. The water's still going to drain off just like it should. So that's how we're going to run that full length. And then we're going to have a total of six. Oh, that's seven, but we're going to have six uh, boards, and then on the roof, these will be the main supports, too. This is just a cheap, do-it-yourself, effective project for calves, and we're probably going to end up, if it turns out good, which I think it should, we're going to end up building another one for the sheep and keep them outside instead of in the main barn. Uh, so, let's get started.
Hey guys, here's where we're at. Uh, we just gotta cut a little bit off the bottom of this tin and a little bit off the bottom of the other tin. And then we can slap them up and we're good to go. So here's what we got so far. So it's actually, it's a little taller than I thought, which is good. So this is the front. Uh, we got the big brace in there. So it's about 34 inches from the bottom of that two by six here to the top of that one. Plenty of room for a calf. Um, as you can see, I got plenty of headroom to walk inside. Uh, these two braces right here and right there, we're, we got them in there so that way if the cows start rubbing, they can't push it together. I think we're gonna leave these. Uh, the main reason we got them in is just for transportation but I think we're gonna leave them in because they're not in the way of anything. The calves can go underneath, no problem. Uh, the only thing would be if I need to get to the back, I just gotta walk underneath of them. Anyways, we're gonna finish wrapping this up. I'm gonna get those pieces cut. Uh, we're gonna get them drilled into the side. We're gonna put a couple cross braces in the center and then I can give you an overall of the shed. Okay, we are all done. Uh, as you can see, we added a piece on the back. Uh, the windbreak we have will go higher than that. So that's the main thing. And then put one on the front, and of course you gotta brand it with your brand. So this is what the shed looks like. Um, we just rounded the edges on the sides and then we buttoned up the top so water will roll off. We added four cross braces right here. Uh, there's one right above it and two on that side. And like I said, these are in here for transportation, but I think we might leave them in there anyways. But not for sure. We have the option to remove them. The do-it-yourself calf shed project. Uh, it came in about 380 bucks, so I'd say that's a pretty good, pretty good price. I mean, it's a heck of a shed. It's built really stout, and it should last a long time, uh, especially if we finish wrapping the edges. Uh, obviously, the front's gonna get wet, and it'll probably rot out eventually. But we are gonna tend the front all the way down to that drop board uh, whenever we do the back. So. We're gonna go move it out there. We're gonna put some straw in it later. And we're gonna wait for the rain to come in. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time on JM Farming Cattle.